All right, hello everybody. Welcome back again. Uh, CMath Run. I've been getting a lot of requests for comparisons, uh, speed tests, um, resolution, things like that between the 84 Plus C Silver Edition and the Casio Prism. So this is going to be the first uh, of just some rundowns of the different features and things that each one of them does uh, and how it does it and how they work, how they operate. So right now you're seeing the um, opening screen here. Uh, so let's go into the uh, graphing since we have, we're talking both color graphing calculators. So let's, let's go in here, five, we'll go into y equals here. We'll put in the same equations here. Let me scroll up. Uh, x plus two minus x plus one, and it's all multiplied x minus one. So this is gonna be a cubic function. It's gonna have a couple of roots in it. Uh, already, I like the resolution on the uh, prism here. Resolution's a little finer, looks like. This one looks a little bit blockier. Still not bad, I like the color. The color is a, is a definite plus. It looks like there are more colors on the cast, on the uh, TI, on the plus C version here. So we'll go ahead and execute that one. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then it looks like they start repeating. Uh, the TI appears to have seven different colors on there right now, so that's pretty good. Um, so let's do a quick speed test and see which one is faster. All right, this is, so I'll go ahead and hit graph. There we go. Oh, I didn't know if I had hit it. All right, there it goes. Um, there's a big gray box around there, too. I'm not sure what this is all about. Here's to be a gray box around it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and hit draw on the cast. Whoa. All right, so that um, that was fast. The uh, prism was much faster than the TI. So let me go back into the Y equals. Let's go back. Let's add a couple of equations. We'll turn these on. Over the equal signs, enter. Over the equal signs, enter. Uh, I made the second one kind of a more complicated fraction here for both of them just to see how it operates with fractions, with little complex fractions. I do like the fact that you can have a display, a natural looking display here, where it almost it looks sort of like it does on the textbook. I don't like that X that way, but that's okay. Kind of small. This one, they both uh, accommodate the fraction. This one's a lot smaller though on the TI. So let's go ahead and graph these. All right, I just, oh, there it is, one, and yikes. All right, that is, um, I think that's even slower than my 83. All right, so let me just graph these. Ooh, there they go. All right, so again, much faster. The screen here is much smaller. So let's do something like find the equation's roots. So in your TI, we'll go second calculate. We're gonna find the zeros of a function. So we'll press two. Oh, we have to do the left bound, right bound thing again. Let's see if I can find all three. Maybe they've improved that. I like that little uh, dotted line that tells you where you are. That's uh, an improvement from the 83. The 83 before did not have that. So left bound, right bound, I still have to guess. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter and it finds only one. Yeah, it only found one. G solve, let's find the roots of the yellow equation. There's one, there's two, there's three. So, show you that one again. We'll find the zeros. In fact, let's go with the intersection this time. Let's find some intersections. First curve, second curve, you got the blinking little dot, guess, let's press enter. So we found the intersection between the blue and the red. The equation, the intersection. So it, it does have some good information. That's probably what the gray is for. I just wish it had actually shown it on the white. Uh, let's go ahead and do that here. We'll find the intersection between the yellow and the red. They both flash blue. There are multiple intersections. And it finds both of them. One and two. So. 
Well, actually, there's three. So I even found the one that was off the screen. Um, I, yeah, I did not. All right, so speed test and uh, quickness of ability to use this thing. So far, I'm giving it to the prism. I like the resolution on the prism. I like the improved color. I like the fact you have more colors on the TI, um, but it appears to be very, very slow. So uh, let me just do one real quick. Let's go with negative 20 to 10, just to change my scale for my window. And we'll let it graph, so it has to regraph these. Uh, we'll change the window on the Casio, negative 20, and draw those. And the Casio is done, and the TI is still thinking about it. That is dreadfully slow. All right, so that was just a quick uh, speed comparison, and it turned out it's also a comparison with the resolution on the screen. Not really sure what the gray box is all about. Um, I still like the functionality single button pushing on the Casio versus the 83 plus C. Uh, you decide. That's uh, the first one. I will do, be doing statistics and some of the other features a little later.